But first, a Marion County woman officially facing charges for allegedly shooting and killing her neighbor earlier this month. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. It has been two weeks now since Ajika Owens was laid to rest. The 35-year-old mother was shot and killed after her neighbor, Susan Lawrence, opened fire through her front door. Now, 24 days after that shooting, the 58-year-old is facing charges. News 6's Catherine Silver joins us live, breaking down the charges Lawrence is facing and reaction from Owens' loved ones. Catherine. Well, the community is also reacting tonight. Within the last couple of minutes, a crowd has just gathered outside of the courthouse here in Ocala calling for justice for A.J. Owens. I see at least one sign says change the charge. The filing from the state attorney makes it official. Susan Lawrence will face manslaughter, not murder for Owens's death. Her families and their attorneys released a statement late this afternoon calling this decision from prosecutors, quote, devastating. They say that Lawrence now faces a maximum of 30 years in prison when under a second degree murder charge, she would face a minimum of 25 years. A bullet hole visible in Susan Lawrence's front door shows where deputies say she opened fire June 2nd, killing A.J. Owens. Her mother calls it murder. Let justice prevail, and that would be formally filing charges for murder too. Pamela Diaz spoke one on one with News 6 before the decision from prosecutors to pursue manslaughter and assault instead. An announcement from state attorney Bill Gladson Monday said in part, although Lawrence might have acted recklessly when she pulled the trigger, it's not enough to prove she acted with hatred, ill will or evil intent. What this case boils down to is what can actually be proven in a court of law beyond a reasonable doubt. And that's the standard that the prosecutor has to use. News 6 legal expert Stephen Kramer says it's about the facts specific to the shooting rather than the history between both neighbors. Where it gets a little more difficult for the prosecutor is the defendant is in the kitchen at the time that she shoots the gun towards the door and the defendant claims that she was shooting a, a warning shot. Deputies describe a long-standing feud leading up to the gunfire. Two of Owen's young kids were playing outside Lawrence's home when she's accused of yelling at them and throwing a skate. The sheriff's office says Owens went to ask for an explanation when she was shot. What is the risk of prosecutors going for that second degree murder charge and this case ending up in front of a jury? If they can't provide the evidence and the facts that support that murder charge, that intentional act, then they run the risk of an acquittal on all charges. And you may remember that Lawrence also faced some other lesser charges because Owen's kids were there. The state attorney also announced today that those charges would be dropped. His office says that they have received angry phone calls and threats of violence over this case. But at the end of the day, they will not bend to public pressure. They will follow the law. I'm live in Marion County. Catherine Silver, Getting Results, News 6.